Ives, face the bar. William Bonney, alias Billy the Kid, I find you guilty of murder. It is now my duty to pronounce sentence upon you for the last act of a life that has been filled with violence, bloodshed, and crime. A boy never hurt anybody. Any more interruptions, the offender will find himself behind bars. You're not helping Billy any but shooting off your mouth. Well, I'm not going to sit here, Jeff. Well, I'll... I'll... Have you anything to say before a sentence is pronounced? Yes, I have plenty to say. You take Hank Baxter over there. Hank's been bragging all over the Southwest how someday he was going to get me. There were several witnesses testified to that, but evidently they weren't believed. I guess Hank figured the only safe way he could get me was legally. So he framed this charge against me. Anything else? Yes, there's a few things more. You take your chief witness, Texas Joe. Well, Joe's a tin-horn gambler. I caught him using clipped aces in a game one time and made things pretty hot for him. I figured I'd let him off easy. Naturally, Joe's been out to get even. And this is his way of doing it, by swearing that he saw me shoot that stagecoach driver. Well, he was lying. That's your opinion. The courts is different. That's obvious. But I want to go on right now as saying there's been more underhanded work and perjury in this case than any trial that's ever been held in this county before. You've had a fair trial, and everything legally possible has been done to protect your interests. That makes us even. Because that's where my opinion differs from yours. William Bonney, it is the order of this court that you be confined in jail until the 10th day of June. And that on that day, between the hours of sunrise and sunset, you hang by the neck until dead. And may God have mercy on your soul. Come on. Well, you finally got the rope, kid. In case I don't, I'll be looking you up one of these days. I'll be the looking up, because I'll be standing right under those gallows, watching you kick. You can start looking up right now. Hey, wait a minute. Take it easy, fellas. Sorry we didn't get here sooner, Billy. Wouldn't have made any difference, Jeff. What are you looking so downhearted about for the world? It is for me and Jeff. Well, the 10th of June's a long way off, and a lot of things can happen between now and then. Just one chance in a million. That's all we'd need. Break it up. This ain't no social meeting. Yeah, we'll keep you from getting lonesome. Sure, drop in any time. You'll always find me in. I'll say they will. Come on around here where we can talk. Hang Baxter and Texas Joe. I've got something coming to them. I didn't know you was lying. I'd have convicted my own mother on the yarn you spent the judge. I'm kind of sorry I did. You owed the kid one. Besides the money you get, it'll come in handy. Yeah, if I'm lucky. The kid's reached the end of his string. You've got nothing to worry about. You know, Billy, the kid's been in tough spots like this before, and he's always gotten out of them. Not this time. Why don't you stick around and see the finish? Not me. I'm getting out while I'm still able to. Where are you heading? Fate only knows, and she won't tell. Why don't I go in with Steve Barton? He'll appreciate your talent. He don't know me. That won't make any difference. When I tell him how you helped me frame the kid, he'll find a spot for you. Where can I find him? He's running the game down in Santa Fe. Just tell him I sent you. Thanks, Hank. Ain't that something? Trail Hank Baxter and don't lose sight of him. Boy, well, you've turned loose a bloodhound. Huh? Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy, up here. 
party, Jeff. Sorry, I can't ask you in. I'll take a rain check on that. But you're right about that double crossing. There's plenty of it going on around here. What'd you find out? Well, I just overheard Hank Baxter talking to Texas Joe. He paid him off for lying about you on the stand. Somebody coming. I'll see you later. I still say it'd be a lot easier and a lot faster to use the key. We gotta make this like a real break. You know, I can't figure you out, Sheriff. This afternoon you were off for stringing me up. Why the change of heart? Well, while I was eating over at the hotel, I heard some talk. Town's people are all riled up about the raw deal you've got in court. It was pretty bad. Yeah, I know. That's the reason I'm giving you this chance. It goes against my grain to be made a cat's paw of. Keep your eyes peeled. I don't want any slip-ups. There we are. I'll never forget this, Sheriff. Think nothing of it. Your gun belt's in the office. This doesn't cause any trouble, Sheriff. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure everything's all right. in sight. Your horse is out in front. Hightail it as fast as you can. and the belly of the kid. saw that Hank's men had the jail covered from every angle, Fuzzy and me removed them, knowing after our talk that you'd play in with whatever the sheriff suggested. I wonder why Steve Barton wants to get you out of the way. I don't know. But being naturally born curious, I'm going to get better acquainted with that gent and find out. And I've always had a hankering to pay a visit to Santa Fe. I've been hearing a lot about that place.
Like we inherited a few head of cattle. Now that we got them, what are we going to do with them? Say, they're heading for the border. There's no reason why we can't follow them. Suppose they'd get tired and stop. Well, we just kind of persuade them that the grass is greener a little further up. <laughs> More rustlers. Wait a minute. Rustlers? Come on. Let me handle this. Looks like we rode into a hornet's nest. Quiet. If you've got anything to say now, you better talk and talk fast. You sure makes a lot of fun by not being here sooner. Yeah. We run off some rustlers just to be showed up. Yeah. What are you doing with those stairs? Uh, taking them to Santa Fe. Don't look like it to me. Me neither. Not with that Brandon fire burning. Sounds fishy to me. Huh. We do somebody a favor and what thanks to it? None. Let's mosey. Not so fast. We caught them red-handed, Bert. They're just stolen. We'll take them in and let Pat Walker question them. Take their guns. Hey, you can't do that. If the governor hears of this, you can't tell what he's going to do. Unless you can convince Pat Walker you're on the level. It'll be too late for the governor to do anything when he hears about it. Who's this Pat Walker you're talking about? You're going to find out soon enough. Tie him up. Pat out here. Hey, Pat! Hey, Pat, where are you? Oh, Pat! Hey, Pat, where are you? Oh, Pat! Land sakes, what's all the yelling about? We got some for you to look over. Where are they? Outside. I've been waiting a year, Bennett. Just because I'm a woman, they think they can pull the wool over my eyes. Well, they're gonna find out they can't. When I fought red skins and bad men clear across the plains. And I can still handle a shooting iron with the best of them. Where are these cowardly rascals that tried to run off my cattle? Outside. I'll show them Pat Walker's nobody's fool. They'll learn what it means to tangle with a rip-snorting, gun-toting gal. When I get through with them, they'll wish they'd never been born, you mangy coyotes. This is a fine fix for old leather burners like us to be in. My eyes deceive me. Glory be. Where out the heavens you fell, the saints only know. But the sight of your cure sore eyes. Only thanks be my eyes are fine. <laughs> it's a good thing for us, they are. Because I live and breathe if you ain't Willie Bonnie. So what's this all about? Did we make a mistake? I'll say you did. Why, I've known Willie Bonnie since he was knee high to a grasshopper. Although I admit I ain't seen hide nor hair of him for a long time. <laughs> well, don't stand there like a lot of numbskulls. Take the ropes off these boys. Huh. <laughs> so you've been spoofing these waddies of mine, huh? When I heard the name Pat Walker, I had a hunch and played it. <laughs> I'm glad you did. These are a nice bunch of lads, and I wouldn't like to lose any of them. Well, don't look so woe-begone. There ain't nothing to be ashamed of to tangle with Billy the Kid and come out second best. <laughs> come in the house and tell me what brings you to Santa Fe. Move the herd from the south range closer to the house. So knowing Steve Barton wanted me out of the way, I decided to find out why. Maybe I'm to blame for that. How's that? Santa Fe has been a paradise for all the bad men on the frontier. Murders and holdups are an everyday occurrence. No law, huh? None to speak of. We formed a cattlemen's association, but it didn't work out the way we thought it would. Well, what's that got to do with Billy? For the last two meetings we've held, I've harped on one thing and one thing only. What's that, Pat? I've been threatening to bring in a man who would clean up the town, restore law and order. And the name I mentioned was yours. Well, that adds up. That's why Steve Barton wanted you stopped before you got here. Yeah, you're right. Does Barton carry much weight in town? Plenty. 
What this town needs is a boot hill, and according to my reckoning, that galoot would be the first to rest in peace under his boots. We might start a boot hill here at that. What do you say? Well, we're here, aren't we? How about you, Jeff? Whatever you say, Billy. I knew I could depend on you boys. By helping you, we'll be helping ourselves, too. Yeah, we're selfish that way. By the way, you better tell your boys to be quiet about us being here. That'll give us a chance to look around for a couple of days. They'll be as dumb as oysters. Let's get moving. Much luck, Tex. Well, Lady Luck's a pickle jade, Steve. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Fate does the dealing and all the laughing. Ain't that right? You dropped the death card. You reckon fate had anything to do with that? Who can tell? I got some good news for you. Billy, the kid's in town. Fine. He's just the man to put an end to your troubles. Three kings. <laughs> Who's the fellow talking to the battle axe out there? Oh, that's silent Don Vincent. Is he apt to come in here? Not him. He never cuts loose. Well, I'll hope your luck lasts, Tex. I'm out. Where'd you leave your things? Why? Are well, you gonna move in with me? No, I'm pulling out in the morning. You can't do that, you just got here. You're a pretty substantial citizen of Santa Fe, Don. I'm a crooked gambler. The two won't mix. Someday one of them will get wise. That's already happened, but just once. Is your life to tell about it? Yeah, you uh, see, I was lucky. I never carry a gun, so when Billy the Kid tumbled to what I was doing, he wouldn't shoot an unarmed man. Did you say Billy the Kid? Yeah. Ever run across him? He's a friend of mine. I've ridden with him, fought with him, shared the same blankets. That's too bad. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have done to him what I did over in Red Gun. What did you do? Put a rope around his neck by lying at his trial. Haven't you heard that Billy broke jail? You mean he escaped? Yes. I just learned about it tonight. Is he in these parts? He's out the bar W. He and Pat Walker are old friends. He's going to give her a hand cleaning up Santa Fe. That's all the more reason for me to leave. Uh, I can fix things with Billy for you. Sharing my troubles hasn't helped you any in the past, Don. I'm heading for the coast. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Sure you won't change your mind. So long. All kinds of luck, Joe. And keep what I told you about Billy to yourself. Don't worry. I won't tell a soul. shipped to the bank on the QT. I pounded leather to get word to you. Well, Steve, I wonder what... Just a minute, Tex. When is it due here? You can talk in front of Tex. He's all right, Scotty. We'll get in sometime tomorrow. <laughs> I've got my doubts about that. Say, so what route are they using? The old trail through Cold Springs. Then we can stop it just beyond the springs. We'll take plenty of men with you this time. Well, the message is coming through alone. It'll make it that much easier. Well, I'll give you a regular cut, Scotty. Okay. Now, what's on your mind, Tex? I'm leaving town in the morning. Well, you'll be back. I won't. I'm going to drift out the coast. Why, 
Pickings are pretty good here, aren't they? You won't find them any better out there. I'd like to chance it. Well, there's no need to say any more. The cashier will give you what you've got coming. Thanks, Steve. Maybe we'll get together again someday. Maybe. He's got something on his mind. Yeah. Keep your eye on him until this bank job is over. He knows too much to be running around loose. seen any bad signs, Bert. No. Well, things being what they are, I won't feel safe if that money's in the bank. Isn't that Hank Baxter going over there? That's Hank, sure enough. Wonder what he's up to. What about me tailing him? All right. Meet me on this side of the pass in an hour. All right, Bert. Before you're over your bender. What I'm done thinking. You know, Hank, with me, heavy drinking and heavy thinking go together. Why don't you cut them both out? I'm talking for your own good. I'm your friend. Oh, yeah. You're my friend. <laughs> and I've proven it by letting you hide out here? You know Steve Barton wouldn't like it. Yeah, I know, I know. Hands up. I'm going to take a look around with you, Hank. 
Come on, get more looking. Come. Whoever it was made a clean getaway. Find out who he is? Yeah. He's one of Pat's men. Look at this, Jeff. It's a clipped ace. We found it on the floor. Texas Joe uses him. Well, he's probably the one that made the getaway. Maybe. See if you can pick up his trail. I'm heading into town. Okay. Well, this is where we separate. How come? You're leaving Santa Fe. Meet me tonight and I'll give you some money. That suits me. Hey, Mr. You don't seem to be anxious to see me. But I know somebody would be mighty glad to see you. What do you mean? Don't you know? You've got nothing on me. Oh, you've forgotten Red Gap, huh? Though the kid will be mighty anxious to meet up with you. You're trying to kid me. He's dead. Which statement proves that you were behind the attempt to kill him after his trial? You mean he's alive? Nothing but, as you will soon find out. Boxes are goner, Pat. And the messenger, buzzard meat. Nobody ever put anything over on me and made it stick. Any palavering we do, we better do on the inside. You're right. Well, where and just how did this happen? The other side of the pass. A masked man surprised us, and we didn't have a chance. To run off our ponies. Well, that settles it. I'm going to do what I've threatened to do for the last six months. I'm turning Billy the Kid loose on Santa Fe. 
Well, do you think you can get it? I know I can. I'll take care of the messenger in the buckboard. I wish you luck, Pat. Scat, all of you, get out of here. I've got work to do. All right, folks, come on, let's break it up. Come on, break it up. Take the little listen to Pat. Well, if he does, I'm clear not proud of him. Well, from the rumors I've heard, I'm afraid Pat's going to have to do a talking to him in the cemetery. Hey, Billy! Billy the Kid! Come on in the bank, Billy. Pat won't see you. Hank Baxter lied to me. I want you boys to be along with me when I keep a date with Hank tonight. Wait a minute. Howdy, Don. Billy. I didn't know you were in Santa Fe. I've been here quite a while. We just got in. Jeff and Fuzzy are with me. We're bedding down at the bar W. Yeah, so I heard. And you didn't look us up? I wasn't supposed to know. Oh, I get it. Well, suppose we get together after supper tonight for a conclave. That'd be great. I live just outside of town. Anybody will show you where. I'll find it. I wonder what's the matter with him. I remember when he used to be a hard-riding buckaroo with a rosy future. I think his future's all behind him now, Billy. Jerry, there's a thousand dollars in this for you. The kid's been running over on the boys of the frontier too long. Shut up. Let be riding fast later. Here. Now remember, make it look as though he started it. Billy, we've got to come out in the open and start fighting. Now well, what's happening? Some varmints got away with $15,000 of the bank's money and killed the messenger that was bringing it. I thought so. Now, just why would you think that? Steve, you're talking to Billy the Kid. Well, I'd already guessed who he was. Steve Barton runs the palace. I also have other heavy investments that need protecting. Did any of you ever see this six-shooter before? Let me look at it. Sure, I do. It belongs to Charlie Bates. I gave it to him. He's dead, Bert. How do you know? Because I found him in an old cabin. He'd been shot. I'll get the man who killed Charlie Bates if it's the last thing I ever do. I have a hunch you'll find that bank money near where I found Charlie. I'm not interested in money. Not now. I don't blame you for feeling the way you do, Bert. But I think our best move is to let everything rest easy for a while. Because I... You can think as you want to, Billy. I'm going to get the man who killed Charlie Bates. And besides, finding the money won't find the killers. You see what we're up against, Billy? Yeah. Without some kind of protection, this town's going to the dogs. Did you ever think of deputizing the members of your Cattlemen's Association into law enforcing officers? If we do, will you head them? How far will I be backed up? All the way, and then some. Providing everything is done according to Hoyle. It will be. See you later, Pat. There goes the one man on the frontier that can tame Santa Fe. I don't agree with you, Pat. Tombstone, Dodge City, Abilene, and other towns have tried with men like Billy the Kid. It didn't pan out. Billy's different. He's not like the men they used. They were all gunmen, and so is he.
What caused the shooting? He did. Why, Jerry never even had a chance. What was that? Oh, nothing. Maybe it ain't any of my business. It ain't taking you long to get started, is it? What are you driving at? I mean you're losing no time living up to that reputation you've got. You seem mighty interested in me. Not a bit. Well, somebody is. And I'm inclined to believe you're that somebody. Are you accusing me Not of... Not exactly. But I'm suspecting you plenty. Figure to find proof. If you look under that man, Pat, you'll find he has a gun in his hand. When a man tries murder, there ain't anything in the law or out of it that'll help him when he gets killed. Thanks, Pat. If I'm wanted for the inquest, you'll know where to find me. Sure. There goes a boy after my own heart. Are you alone? Oh, yeah, sure. I had to come back down. I'm hurt. Lock the door and pull down the shades. What happened? Yeah. No, Go on. Know. What have you been up to? I don't know, Don. I got into some kind of a mess. Well, let's get that boot off and get you to bed. Come on. What happened? Hi, right, Don. Who is it? Sounds like Billy the Kid. Get me out of here. Hide it in there. Now, don't get panicky. Billy will help you if I ask him to. Don! Be with you in a minute. Hello, Billy. Howdy, Don. Jeff, how are you? Fine, Don. How are you? Come in. Sit down. I thought we might be a little early. Ah, I've been all evening. I was sure surprised when Billy told me you are in town. What have you been doing with yourself? Oh, working hard. Reading a lot. Respectable citizen, huh? Vangador de Corpus Christi. Going highbrow on us, huh? <laughs> Means the Avenger of Corpus Christi. It's a Spanish legend of a man who, because of injustice, took the law in his own hands. Sometimes you can't blame a fellow for doing that. That's practically what happened to you. Come across any trace of the holdup men? Yeah, we think we've located one of them. Is he connected with Steve Barton? In a small way, yes. I don't think you're going to be able to beat that game, Don. Why? If my hunch is right, the ace of spades is missing. I'll tax out, Don. We know he's here because I trail him. No use trying to protect me, Don. I heard what you said, Billy. Where'd you get the card? You know where I got it. Oh, then it was you that came in as I went out. You're right. Billy won't be too hard on you for what you did to him, Tex. Me lying about him at his trial has nothing to do with this. I'm wanted for murder. For murder? For the killing of Charlie Bates. Did you do it? I, uh, I don't know. What's Tex to you? Well, the uh, pal. That's all, just a pal. I uh, guess you want to take me in right now. Let's go. Say, Tex, before I... There's nothing to say, Bill. My memory's all muddled. I remember wanting to leave, and someone hit me. Then I collided with Charlie, and he hit me again. I guess we went to it. Well, how'd you get out there? Who was with you? No dice. I'm cashing in my checks without squawking. You might think different in the morning. Get in there.
Hello, Bert. Hi, Billy. We just brought in Texas Joe. I know. I was listening at the door. He killed Charlie Bates. I'm not so sure about that. I think he's covering up for somebody. I'm hoping to get him to talk. I ain't interested in your hopes. Us having no regular courts here and such. Pat Walker can act as judge, and I'm sure 12 gents will listen to what I tell them. I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry for a trial, Bert. After all, there's more than one man mixed up in this, and if we can get Tex to talk, we'll find out who they are. I ain't got no use for him at all. And as far as I'm concerned, he's through talking. Think it over before you do anything. I will. Tex? I just dropped in to tell you that I'll see you hanging from dead man's tree by noon tomorrow. I'm sorry about Charlie Bates. Honest, I am. Yeah. Too late for that now. It's about time you two showed up. Have you seen anything of Hank? No. Can't understand what's keeping him. He's never been late for a handout before. We just come from the cattleman's office. Bert's got Tex in the jug. What's he holding him for? We don't know. Say, do you suppose Billy the Kid's got a hand in this? We don't know that either. Well, something's got to be done to keep him from talking. You know how to get the Cold Springs Pass? Yeah. All right, head for it. And if I was you, I'd stay over there till tomorrow night. You're wise. You'll ride by night and hide by day. Oh, that's all right. He ain't hurt that. Wait. Let's go up the back way. cold and freed Texas Joe. Well, what'd you have him locked up for? Texas Joe killed Charlie Bates. Well, yeah. then I'm guessing who slugged you. Hank Baxter brought Tex into Santa Fe, and last night Hank was working up to a fighting jag. Hmm. It ought to be easy to trail Hank if you're sure he was in Santa Fe last night. Well, he was here all right. I saw him. Well, I'd have warned you if I'd have known you had Tex locked up for murder. You see, Tex and Hank are buddies. Well, I'm getting together a posse. How many of you want to see justice done? I'm all right. All right, all right get your horses. Yeah. We're leaving pronto. How about you, Billy? Uh, I'm staying here. Fuzzy, you riding with me? Fuzzy? Who, who me? <laughs> I'm staying with Billy. Jeff? I'm staying with Billy, too. I caught your signal, Fuzzy, but I can't figure your play. Well, Steve Barton was lying if he said he saw Hank Baxter last night. How do you know? Because I've had Hank hogtied since early yesterday. Well, hello, Pat. What brings you here this time of the morning? Plenty. Last night's work's got me worried. I want to do some plain talking in my office. Well, you can count on me. Is that all you want me for? I think so. Everything else checks okay. Right.
Say, I can't wait here any longer. I've got to finish counting up at the palace. Take it easy. I'll be back soon enough. Well, he picked up his trail. Where? He didn't Cold Springs Pass. All right, come on. It ain't hard to pick up a trail if you know where to look. You know, uh, we grabbed Hank Baxter, Steve. What'd he say? I mean, what'd he do? You lied to me when you said you saw him. Fuzzy corralled him yesterday morning. Stay where you are, Tex. Why did you send Hank Baxter to Red Gap? To make sure I was rubbed out? Why, no. I didn't. I know better. Yes, you all know I'm for law and order. You also know I don't lie. I heard Tex tell Billy the Kid how he killed Charlie Bates. Now, do we have to go through the motion of a trial in Santa Fe? We can get a jury here as well as there. Charlie, You know, they hang men for murder. Yeah. You've been found guilty and sentenced to death. I said I'd see you swinging for what you did, and it's gonna happen right now. And all legal like. Go ahead, buddy. Well, that's that. Say, what have you been writing all this time? Hank Baxter's confession. He's going to sign it. Well, what did he confess to? I said they hang men for murder. Say, I didn't kill Charlie Bates. Hank Baxter says you did. Well, he lied. Hank killed him. All right, buddy. Steve says you killed Charlie Bates. Why, you lying double-crosser, you know he's... Shut up! We've both been framed. You're right. Until now, I didn't have any more confession than a frog has hair. I'm going out. You said it. I got work to do. I was wrong, Don, about Tex. You mean? No, he didn't kill Bates. We have to find him. Come on. Couldn't you find Tex? Sure. We found him all right. And we left him hanging where we found him. I'll remember every one of you as long as I live. You can hold another necktie party at the bank. Steve Barton and Hank Baxter are ready to stretch your rope. What are you hitting at? Didn't kill Charlie Bates. Barton and Baxter did.
Hey, Mike. Reach for it. Scotty, reach for it. There's been a card left on every man who's been shot. And each one of them was in that posse who hanged Texas Joe. You got any idea who's doing it? I've got an idea, all right. If I only had the ace, I'd know. Here's your ace. I found this on Scotty, and he's deader than a mackerel. Just what I've been thinking. This ace has been clipped. What's that mean? It means that somebody's spreading around Texas. You mean you know who's doing the killing? Remember what happened to Tex, Pat. I'm not saying anything till I'm sure. I said I had to be sure. Well, I am. You know who it is? Silent Don Vincent. What? Why would Don be mixed up with Texas Joe? They were brothers. Well, in that case, I don't blame him for what he's doing. Me neither. They both got a raw deal. You bet. Vincent has to be brought in. You can count me out, Billy. And it's not because I'm afraid, either. He only killed the ones that worked for Steve Barton, and they sure had it coming to him. Men, we formed this organization to bring law and order to Santa Fe. If we expect it to stick, Vincent has to be brought in. Well? I can't say I blame any of you. Too much. That was guns talking. You sure? When a gun cracks, there ain't no doubt in my mind what I heard. Look. We're going over there to find out what this is all about if the fellow that emptied that saddle's waiting there to plug us. Come on. Hey, Pat. Look. Don Vincent. I'll say it is, and he's badly hurt. That's a nasty wound he's got in his shoulder. What are you going to do with him? Take him in? He's in no condition to ride to town. Well, we can't leave him out here. Who's going to leave him? Catch up that horse out there. We've got to get him away from here before somebody sees him. Pat, you're a regular guy. Oh, fiddlesticks, get out of here. Why don't you wait till morning? I prefer to ride by night. And hide by day? You're both the hunter and the hunted, my lad. It's always been my life or theirs. I'm sorry for you, Don. 
I haven't killed any innocent men. They all deserve death, you know that. Maybe so. But you're taking the law into your own hands. And son, you haven't that right. When Don and Billy meet, it means death for one or both of them. There ought to be some way of stopping them from killing each other. There is. Name it and we'll do it. Well, the court's a court wherever it's held, ain't it? It was when Dex was hung. That's what I'm driving at. Why can't we try Don Vincent? Why didn't I think of that? Because you got nothing to think with. We got to get a judge and jury. You got a judge. All you need's a jury. Now, let me see. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> Gather around, men. Court's in session. After considering all the evidence in this case, it is the verdict of this court that Don Vincent is not guilty. Court dismissed. Hooray! We've got to get the news to Don. He's at the ranch. Come on. Billy's riding this way. If you have reason to fear him, I can help you escape. Why, Billy and I are old friends. I'll be glad to see him. You, Billy. Slow on your draw, Billy. Sure move, Don. You never missed before, Bill. Why didn't you shoot? For the same reason that you missed. Don took the bullets out of his gun when he saw you coming. I guess we both kind of had the same idea, Billy. I'm glad we did. A fellow as white as you are couldn't be too far wrong. Yeah, maybe the court will think different. I don't think you have to worry about that. Hold everything! Now, wait a minute. Don's decided to take his chances with a court. Too late for that. What do you mean, too late? Don's trial's already been held. I, Judge Fuzzy Jones, have decided that the verdict is uh, justifiable homicide. And besides, we found out that Don's been a deputy sheriff for the last three years. And he had a right to do what he did. He did. Fuzzy, <laughs> you sweet thing, you old darling. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my... I'm getting out of here. <laughs> well, so long, Pat. It's a smile seeing you. Good luck, Tom. Thanks, Billy. You boys aren't going. Yeah, we got the corral fuzzy. He's going to run into more trouble. So long, folks. <laughs> <laughs>